Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, I thought of doing these little short videos where we uh, explain a station, what it is, uh, using a portable radio, and if you want to try to DX it, maybe you've never heard it before, or maybe you've heard it, you just don't know what it is exactly, um, and you're just wondering, well, you know, what's that? And of course, there are a lot of them will be good DX targets. So we're going to start with one frequency and you know some of them have several frequencies that you can listen to them but we'll actually focus on one frequency what it is and these are going to be short videos that are going to actually show you some signals uh, a lot of them in single sideband a lot of them in um in uh, am mode it depends what we're going to find and what we're going to actually throw in there as signals to listen to so one, this could be a good DX target depending on where you are. I would guess on the west coast of North America, it's tougher than on the east coast to get it. Uh, in Europe, it's probably very strong. So depending on where you are, uh, one of these signals, 5505 kHz, which is this. It says it's 5506, but it's 5505. So this is Shannon Volmet. Volmet is a, is a um, kind of, it's two words, two French words put together in a short. Vol Meteo. It's for um, the weather station for aeronautical purposes. Shannon is in Ireland, and it is one of those that is quite easy on the East Coast, tougher maybe on the West, but it's a good one to try out. Uh, it's in upper sideband. It's a what we call a utility station. So like I said, it's for air traffic control. It's actually giving out the weather of different stations. Um, and so this could be useful for, of course, uh, aircraft that are about to arrive in the vicinity of airports. So Shannon vomit. And I'm actually going to do another thing because when they are USB or single sideband, I'm going to try different radios and show you how I tune them on the radios. So um, what we're going to use is a, let's try to see what it's on. D808. Let's put the uh, outdoor antenna because I have the MLE30 plugged in on it. So I've turned on SSB, which is loading. Funny to say that it's loading, but it's kind of loading, yes. Uh, then you have, of course, uh, the frequencies. So we're going to actually make the light turn on for sure. Okay. So we're going to tune the frequency of 5505. And here it is. It's already quite close to the frequency. But if it's too far, if it doesn't sound right uh, on this radio, it's a fine tuning that you can tune. So if it doesn't sound right, sounds kind of weird. Use the BFO to fine tuning to make it sound natural. So depending on what you're going to tune, of course, it's not always as easy. Each radio has its quirks, has its way of actually tuning around. Uh, but try 5505. Note that that's the center frequency. And if you want to try to fine tune the voice uh, to try, because I know a lot of you have a hard time tuning single sideband signals, these are kind of good to, you know, try your hand at SSB. You know the frequency. All you have to do is, you know, turn that BFO or that fine tuning and slowly find the correct 
voice tone. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, I, I see videos sometimes of people saying, well, you're not on pitch. It's like, who cares? You understand what they're saying? Even if you're not perfectly on, it's all right. Don't go crazy over it. Okay? But as long as you can understand what it's saying, uh, just play with the fine tuning or the BFO of your radio. And um, that's, that's how you're going to actually, you know, be able to uh, slowly get the hang of it and at some point become pretty good at decoding uh, any types of signals. Uh, the hardest ones are the ones that are intermittent, you know, amateur communications like amateur radio uh, or some utility stations that just are brief communications and then nothing for minutes at a time. Uh, these are the toughest one because sometimes, or most of the time, you don't even know the exact frequency you're tuning, but you're trying to tune, and sometimes it could be a killer, it's off. You could be a killer up or down, and you're unable to fine-tune it because you're off. So play around. when If you can't fine-tune it, just go one killer, it's up or down, and try it again. Sometimes it's just because you're off, and the BFO can't reach the proper pitch, the proper tone that you want to actually get from the radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.